Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Veterans Day to all you veterans. I've got many veterans in my family, including my very own father. Um, he was actually stationed at Homestead Air Force Base where I was born. Um, you know, so I was birthed on a, on, on, a, on a base. So I'm not a veteran, so don't be wishing me happy Veterans Day. But um, thank you so much for everything you guys do. We wouldn't be the country we are today if it wasn't for um, you veterans. And not only the veterans, you current current military people thank you so much i mean thank you thank you thank you thank you uh guys check out my patreon um i've posted pictures of the fair that we went to thursday night i finally got them off my wife's phone and she sent them to me um i'm not good with my phone so i don't take pictures on my phone but um you know it'll be on my patreon so for all you patrons thank you so much what you guys do for us is amazing so thank you um and um i'm blessed thank you so, we're getting into some Grace Vanderwall here. I haven't done Grace Vanderwall in a little bit. Um, it hasn't been too long, though. And this is Vienna, and this is a live performance. Grace Vanderwall... Man. Grace Vanderwall is supremely talented. She has such a pretty voice, and it's unique. It's a, a, she has a unique take on singing um, that I don't think I've ever heard before. I can usually compare... You know, artists, you know, these young artists to older artists. And that doesn't mean I'm saying they're better than them or they're worse than them. Because sometimes you guys go a little crazy with how can you compare this person to that person. It's just, if I were to say to somebody who Grace Vanderwall is, I would be easier to maybe lean them towards wanting to listen to them, uh, her, if I could compare it to something. It doesn't mean I'm ranking it. You guys got to understand there's a difference between ranking and comparisons. Same thing with sports. We always like to compare people and rank people and then we get mad, you know, and it's just, it's just a comparison. That's all it is. It's just a comparison. But um, I don't, I don't have anybody I can compare to her. I thought it was Jewel. I thought I heard a song by Jewel way back in the 90s. Um, but it wasn't, and I, I, I mentioned that in one of my earlier videos on Grace, and it wasn't Jewel, so I mean, I haven't, I don't know who Grace, Grace is just Grace, I mean, they're all just Grace, Angelina Jordan's just Angelina Jordan, you know, Courtney Hadwin's just Courtney Hadwin, um, but, you know, it's just easier to describe a person, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm ranting here, uh, and, and I'm getting off the subject, but this is Vienna, I love Grace's genuine smile. I like her just her, her attitude. She just seems like a very nice, humble, down to earth person, and that, and it's awesome. And um, what else can you say? I mean, let's just hear this and let's keep going. Let's let's go with this song and see what we hear. child you're so ambitious for a juvenile but then if you're so smart tell me why are you still so afraid mm -hmm. where's the fire what's the hurry about you better cool it off before you burn it out but you got so much to do and only so many hours in a day You know that when the truth is told That you can get what you want Or you can just get old You're gonna kick off Before you even get halfway through Ooh. When Is this an original? Um, let me know in the comment section And guys, 99% uh, of the time I don't go and look things up and listen to an original. I want to hear this for the very first time. And if I miss the original, I miss the original. You guys tell me in the comments whether it is or not. And then I go and listen to the original later. Um, I listen to videos. Like, sometimes I don't understand all the lyrics in a video. Like, when it comes to, like, heavy metal and stuff. So, after the video, I'll go back and listen to it again so I can understand it. I like music. It is what it is. I just do. Um... But is this an original or is this her? Because I like the lyrics. I like the lyrics. I like the, the message she's portraying right now. Um, it's pretty cool. This is a cool song. It's, it's, and again, it's one of those songs where I could just sit back and relax to it. It's just very nice. Very pretty voice. Let's keep going. When will you realize Vienna waits for you? 
It's gotta be a remake or, or a cover. Slow down, you're doing fine. You can't be everything you wanna be before your time. Although it's so romantic on the borderline tonight. Tonight. Too bad, but it's the life you lead. You're so ahead of yourself that you forgot what you need. You can see when you're wrong. You can't always see you when you're right. You're right. Look at those bell bottoms, Miss Grace. Look at that. Goodness gracious. Look at them things. The reason I'm asking if this is an original recover, for one, she has put out some very, very mature lyrics for a girl her age, um, you know, at, when she was a younger age. So I can absolutely see her writing something like this. Um, and also, another reason why I think it might be a cover is because of the same reason, because of the lyrics. But let me know. Uh, this has, you guys know Jason Mraz. This has like a Jason, and I know Jason Mraz is one of her idols. I, I saw the Special Olympics where they performed together. It was so awesome. Uh, this has a Jason Mraz feel to it, and I like that. I like Jason Mraz a lot. Let's keep going. When you're right, you're right. truth is told that you can get what you want or you can just get old you're gonna kick off before you even get halfway through Ooh, and will you realize Vienna waits for you Y'all saw that look on her face there? We're going to hear that again. We're going to hear this little, uh, what do you want to call this? The scat, this whatever. Um, Jason Mraz likes to do that too. Um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm referencing Jason Mraz. And other people as well do it. I know they do, but I'm just, that's what comes to mind is Jason Mraz. But watch this little facial expression she does here um, after the second scat. We'll go, we'll go back some. Here we go. We'll go here. Go here. Ready? Here we go. Right there, it was almost just like, <laughs> whatever. Like, like I, that's I, that's not what's going through her head, but it's just a funny look at the look at the eyes, look at the just, a, just like did that, and maybe that's the the feeling that she's getting through the song, and she's just expressing to her face. It's just pretty funny. Here we go, watch, and then we'll go, we'll let it go for a bit. <laughs> That you can get what you want Or you can just get old Kick off before you even get halfway through Ooh, why don't you realize Vienna waits for you That's, I like that smile She has such a pretty, genuine smile Um I was really, really focused on the guy in the back because I think it's so amazing that when you get so into something that sometimes you you lose control of your body a little bit and you just let things happen that you might not do. But like, so he's so into the music. Watch his face as he's getting into the music. It's like a fan of the sports game. You know, something happens, you just go crazy and you jump and like, that's just your instinct. You know, you just whatever. And then, or, or at a concert when you're in this, but watch him. It's a musician. He's loving the music. He's into it, and then what? And then move over to her. The smile she gives. And I wait for you. All right, here he comes. Oh man, I didn't go back far enough, so that's my fault. Where are we at? Two forty-five. We'll go back to three thirty-five because it's when it pans to that that very same shot we were just at. When it goes to that shot, you'll see him. He gets into it, and then she gives that genuine smile. Ooh, why don't you realize? Ooh. The phone off the hook and disappear for a while It's alright, you can't afford to lose a day or two Ooh, why don't you realize Vienna waits for you When will you realize Vienna waits 
Get off my screen, just look. Get off my screen. What a pretty song, right? Right? What a very, very pretty song. Let me know. Let me know. And listen, come at me like an adult. Don't come at me like I'm the dumbest person in the world. Just be mature about it. Let me know. Is that a cover? Is that an original? It was so nice. Uh, that was Grace Vanderwall, Vienna, the live performance. And she sounds so good live, doesn't she? Um, we need more artists like Grace, Angelina Jordan. We need more like that, that just are going to come and just keep music pure, you know, because that's what we're missing. We're missing pure music. And I'm sure there's a, a, a thousand artists out there that are like that. I just don't hear it because, one, I stay away from the radio. I can't stand the radio. And then a lot of times, if, if you know, if I don't hear it on the radio, then I don't, I don't get to hear anything new. So this whole YouTube thing has been phenomenal. Getting all this new music from you guys has just been amazing. So um, there you go, guys. That was Grace Vanderwall, Vienna Live. Thank you so much for everything, guys. Thank you for all your comments, all your subscriptions, all your suggestions. Um, I love interacting with you guys. If I missed it, it's because YouTube, if you, if you have a YouTube channel or you try to find a comment, it's hard. It's just sometimes you miss them. But I try to respond to everybody. And you might not believe me, but ask the people I've responded. I try to respond to everybody. So um, thank you so much. Um, check out that Patreon. There's going to be pictures of the fair. You know, um, the, the night we had was a great time. You get to see lots of mostly pictures of the kids on rides because um, that's what it's all about for me. Uh, I go to the fair to get a turkey leg, you know, but it's about the kids. I don't care about the rides. They do. So they get to go get on the rides and I just follow them around and let them go from ride to ride. You know, that's just what I do. Um, so thank you so much. Hopefully, thank you to you veterans. Happy Veterans Day to the current people in the military, to your father, your mother, your uncle, your auntie, whoever, past, you know, members of the military. Thank you so much. And, and let's, let's go a little bit farther and let's just, not just for our country, for all countries, because all military, you know, they're usually they're doing it because they believe in something and they think what they're doing is right. I mean, correct. I mean, even it is what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, like I'm going through a lot of history with the kids and we're talking about like the Revolutionary War, you know, with one son and then the other son. We're talking about how the U.S. was like, you know, pushing Seminoles off their land. I mean, both sides are fighting because they think they're doing what's right. I mean, it is what it is. They might not be led by the right people, but you see what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'd like to say a happy Veterans Day to everybody. And if you're in the military and you're giving up your life to protect your country, big props to you. So I hope everybody has a beautiful day. And until next time, goodbye.